Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is exception test in Selenium? Let me answer. In Selenium automation, if you are deliberately causing some errors or exceptions to occur, okay, intentionally, you are modifying the Selenium automation code in such a way that it causes some exceptions. To see how this Selenium code is handling such kind of exceptions, we do that. Okay, that is called as exception test. You see, if you write a proper code, you will not get any exception. But what if in case there is an exception coming in the code, if you want to know in advance how this Selenium automation code will handle such kind of exceptions in real time, if you want to know, you have to deliberately cause some errors or exceptions in the code. And by doing that, you will modify your original Selenium automation code if in case such kind of exception occurs, this is how I have to modify the code, okay? To get to know that, we have to introduce this kind of deliberately causing the exceptions in the code and that we call as exception test. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where first I'll write some very basic uh, straightforward code which is not going to cause any exception, okay? It's going to work seamlessly, okay? The code I'm going to write is going to write work properly without any problems or exceptions, okay? First, I'll write that code. Web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Okay. Now, hold the mouse on the web driver and import it from Selenium library. Import this Chrome driver. No mistakes, no issues, no no errors, anything. The code is going to work seamlessly first. Okay. Next, my the browser window. I'll open the application URL. So here, I'll take you to some sample application. Let's say, this, let's say this is the sample application. I'll copy and paste this URL here. After going to this application page here, I would like to uh, enter some text. Let's say my name, I would like to enter into the text area field. I'll inspect this uh, text area field. I'll create a web element for the text area field here. It has an ID. Copy this ID. Here, write down driver.find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator and create a web element text uh, area field. Okay, is equal to for the mouse create web element got created. Now I would like to perform some operation with this web element where I would like to enter some or my name into this text area field. Further, I'll simply say text area field dot set keys. And here I'll give my name Arun Motori. Put a semicolon. After that, that's it. This is what is the code. Let's see whether this code is working fine or not. It's going to work seamlessly without any problems. Okay, run this. This is the original code which is going to run properly. So it's going to type my name into the text area field. Okay. You see, my name got typed into the text area field and everything was working fine smoothly. But what if what if this particular find element is not able to find the element with this locator? Okay, that is the doubt I got. Okay, so that's where. We are going to use this exception testing. We are going to test the exceptions now. Okay. What if the question is, what if, what if this happens? What if that happens? Okay. What if this exception comes? So intentionally I'll modify this code such that this code is going to give you the exception. Okay. So I'll say a two, three, this is a wrong ID locator. Intentionally I'm modifying the code so that this is going to give me some exception based on that exception. I'll modify the code. If in case in real time, such kind of exception occurs, how the code should handle. Okay. So right click run as the obligation. This time you see, you will get an exception. Okay. Intentionally, I am causing the script to give an exception to me. We will throw an exception. Go here and see. You see, I got an exception known as no such element exception. And also here, if you see, my name has not been typed. So what's the problem here? At which line we got the exception and all 16 the line. Why I got the exception? Because here there is a wrong locator. So what I have to do is I have to okay, I have to put this inside the try catch box. Okay. Like this. Catch no such element exception. This is the exception that is coming, right? E system dot 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 one minute. First, let me import this no such element exception from Selenium library. And here I'll write down system.out.println. I'll simply say 
exception got handed uh, and uh, I'll print out the details here plus e dot get message okay what is the reason for the exception and printing it out fine like this I'll do okay this time what will happen so if the code is good no exception will come okay this operation will be done if there is something the exception will be handled okay so this is the ultimate code you have to write originally I have not written this code thinking that you are you are kind of uh, you had a feeling that uh, this locator is correct so why should I implement try catch block originally but because of this exception test in selenium that I have done the process I have done where I deliberately cause this particular script to give an exception then I got to know that I have to use try catch block here because there is a possibility of no such element exception here this is a proper way of writing the code Okay, guys, so you understood what is the advantage of uh, using this exception test in Selenium automation by deliberately causing the errors or exception to occur. We can modify our automation code to write in a better way, okay, to handle the situation when exceptions occur. That is what is exception test in Selenium automation. So with practical demonstration, I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.